Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This love reading will be all about you and your person, how you feel about each other, what are the energies between you, as well as where all of this is headed next. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so not every Sagittarius reading will be for you. All right, let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirits and just that's one message of guidance do you have for Sagittarius regarding the person? They are currently thinking about or connecting with at this time. What is their person thinking about at this time about Sagittarius? What are their thoughts, feelings about Sagittarius? What are their thoughts or feelings? Nothing compares to our connection, and I compare everyone I meet to you. <laughs> I love how perfect these two go together. Nothing compares to our connection, and I compare everyone I meet to you. So they've been really doing... Um, I guess their homework um they've been comparing others to you and realizing that nothing compares <laughs> that's kind of what i'm seeing here okay so i love how those two just fit so perfectly what else for sagittarius what else what else for sagittarius what is this person's energy towards sagittarius what do we need to know Difficult decision, tied up, and looking inward. Okay, moving forward to the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person, um, they have a choice to make, and it's not an easy one. I think this person is stuck in a situation that they don't want to be in, or in a situation where, you know, all they can think about is moving forward, leaving, um, planning for their next steps really finding out what matters to them um i think that they're possibly with someone right now and they compare that person to you what else what else for sagittarius what else for sagittarius what is this person thinking feeling I'm taking action and I can't let you go. Very clear energy. Um, man, the fire signs. Very similar energies for a lot of fire signs. Well, Leo especially. They had someone that couldn't let them go either. But they're not really... I didn't get the, sen the sense that they were tied up in anything. Um, if anything, I felt like they just were more scared of not being taken seriously or not believed. But I think your person has to leave something. That's why it's a difficult decision for them. Okay, so let's see. What do we get with the tarot for Sagittarius spirit? So the top row is going to be um, their thoughts, feelings towards you and the connection. And the bottom row is going to be their true intentions, next possible actions for Sagittarius Spurs with their energies, thoughts, feelings, next actions. For Sagittarius, thoughts, feelings. Eight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles reverse, Three of Cups reverse, Five of Cups, the Tower reverse. Okay, Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, so very similar to um, Leo in a way, but not quite. I think there's a third party here. There's someone else. I think this person is just miserable wherever they're at. Um, and they're not mi but okay but let me be clear they're not miserable enough to act at this time all they're thinking right now is about the regrets that they've had but they're not really taking action if anything i feel like this person might be wanting to avoid more disasters in their life so i feel like they might they're thinking about taking action because they can't let you go but it's not so simple because there's someone else involved. 
Do you know what I mean? It's not like in the Leo reading where, you know, not to say that you are dealing with a Leo. I'm just, just in case you are dealing with a Leo, you might want to check out that reading. But over there, I did not, I did not pick up on a third party. And so I feel like that's the, really the obstacle for you and this person. Now, the Eight of Cups Reverse tells me that um, either they're thinking about returning, wanting to return, or they're trying to leave and they can't. So let's see what this Eight of Cups is about. Tell me about the Eight of Cups Reverse. Why is the Eight of... Okay, we have the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Cups Reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups Reverse? Nine of Pentacles. Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups? Reverse. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So, yeah, and then there's the Seven of Cups. So I feel like this is somebody that is imagining, dreaming, hoping for freedom. They want to leave a situation and have a new opportunity elsewhere with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's going to be a very painful move because someone's going to get hurt they're going to have to hurt someone now the knight of cups is telling me that you know there's genuine feelings here there could even be an apology tell me about the knight of cups what can you tell me about this knight of cups what can you tell me three of cups Yeah, I feel like they want to apologize, talk to you. Maybe they want to uh, reunite, come together here. Yeah, temperance, there you are, Sagittarius. And the high priestess, Pisces energy. Well, actually, it's the moon, but you know. I feel like there's, I don't know, with, with the high priestess, I'm getting that this is something that this person thinks about secretly or hopes for secretly this knight of cups and the reason is because there's someone else so they can't just be very open about their goals what they're thinking right but in their mind they would be able to talk to you and make things right bring some sort of balance bring you this page of pentacles yeah there's a six of pentacles things would be balanced again but we have the three of pentacles reverse three of cups reverse i mean there's no escaping yeah ten of wands and the Empress. The Empress keeps coming out in these readings. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel there's two people here. Um, they could be married with the Queen of Pentacles. Or there's burdens, obligations here with another partner. There could even be something with a parent, like a, uh, a mother figure. This is a burden for them. When they think about you, they can't help but think about the mess they're in. So in their next actions, true intentions, we have the Three of Cups reverse, Five of Cups, and the Tower reverse. So yikes. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? The Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Yeah, they want to leave the third party. Yep, and there's the Emperor, Aries energy, and the Magician. Yeah, they want to do this. It, I feel like they want to be able to take action. They want to be able to bring all of this into submission, right? Like, I just want to take care of this. And I think it's out of desperation. I feel like this person is desperate um, because they're so miserable. But the third party, that's not going to be an easy fix. That's not going to be an easy fix. They can compare all they want. You know, are you going to do something about that comparison? Because it's going to be difficult. And I think they're trying to avoid a tower in their life. Because it's almost like I can't handle that right now. On top of everything else. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Ace of Wands, the Hermit, the Tower, Seven of Cups. Exactly. Hermit. Um, the Hermit is Virgo energy. 
I think this person knows for them to have a new beginning, they would have to have a tower and they're trying to think around that. I don't want to have to go that route. I want to try another option. The Hermit is here to really help them think. This is looking inward card. What are the options available to me? Do I have to blow up everything? Is that my only option? I don't think so. Or at least they don't want it to be. <laughs> They don't want that to be their only option. They're trying to avoid this tower at all costs. Especially if they're married, that makes sense. Um, you know, divorce, um, separations. When you have things like assets and stuff divided between you, it's just not easy. Tell me about the tower reverse. Why is the tower reverse? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Why is the tower reversed? I think this tower would be devastating to this person. Um, or at least this is how they view it. And they think about this. I have the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. I have the tower on the board, Three of Swords. You know, it's like no matter what they think about here, um, this is part of the... It, it's, like, it's like even if they're thinking about the good times, they're also thinking about the horrible times as well. Some of you, this is um, financial. You could be dealing with a Pisces, someone with Pisces in their chart. The moon is here with the sun. I think the problem for your person is that they know, um, I think they're fighting with themselves, inner conflict, because they know what they have to do, but they don't want to have to do it. <laughs> um, I think they want to have their cake and eat it too, just because right now they are so miserable and they can't go through that again. So... They're thinking, well, what's the easiest way that I can get out of this situation and have what I want without having to struggle and without having to start from zero? But, you know, between you and me, Sagittarius, I have news for this person. Some things cannot be avoided. Um, the question is, will this challenge or obstacle be too big or too difficult for your person? Will they give in, you know? Some people end up just being miserable because they don't have what it takes. I really hope that's not the case for your person. I feel like they're trying to figure out a way around this obstacle, but what if they can't? You know, are they gonna just give up? I hope not. I think this person has too many un unanswered questions, you know, like too many what ifs. They don't like what ifs, this person. What ifs are not good enough for them. They need to know. They need to know. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like in their mind, there's no problem they can't solve. <laughs> you know, it's almost like um, all I need is information. All I need is to talk to the right people. I feel like this is the, this is the energy I'm picking up at, from this person. There's no problem too big for me to solve, but I don't know if that's just desperation talking. I don't know what's going on. They have a lot of big aspirations. Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles tells me even if it's a difficult road ahead or, or something that takes a lot of work, they can visualize success. So that's not a problem for them. This is the problem, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Wands. That's the problem. I feel like they would have to screw someone over or hurt someone a lot to be with you or to get out of this mess. And I think that's really what kind of makes them pull back a little bit. What are their true intentions? What do we need to know about their true intentions? The frog. Okay, healing energy. Renewal. I think this person wishes they could just, I don't know, go back in time, not be where they're at. And I th wherever they're at, Sagittarius, this person must be truly miserable because I feel like in their mind, they, they had something better and they lost it. And so now they just can't help but think about what could be, what could have been, you know? What else do we need to know about this person, this situation? Judication. And marriage at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, some of you are dealing with someone in a long-term commitment. There's someone else. If it's not a marriage, it's a familial situation. So 
family members, matriarchs, patriarchs, people that, you know, pull the strings in the family. Judication is a card about waiting to make a, de a decision, kind of waiting for a result, waiting for an outcome. So I feel like this person's waiting because they don't have all of the answers. Um, they're working on it. They're working on, on planning things, on figuring things out. I think they're doing all of this in secret, but the goal is to, to have the person that they can't let go. <laughs> you know, this is, this, this is their goal. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And um, I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for um, supporting the channel. And hopefully I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.